Ah, uh, there he is. What's up, Matt? What's up, buddy? You're on YouTube. Sweet. <laughs> hey, what's up, guys? I'm Dan H, and welcome to the project. Yes, it has been a while since I've had a ZJ. I've been ZJ-less for far too long. Uh, we are now on our way to take a look at one. We are going from Long Island to Staten Island. That sucker is what we're going to cross in a few minutes. Matt has a 5.9 ZJ that he, uh, he sourced for me. He's uh, definitely a great ZJ guy, a Grand Cherokee lover, and uh, he knew I sold the Grievous, and he decided it was time that I had a Grievous, so uh, we're gonna go over there and check it out. I got the tow dolly back there rattling around, and uh, we're gonna bring this thing home if, uh, if all goes well. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the trip over the bridge. Here she is, a 1998 Grand Cherokee 5.9 Limited. This is kind of rare, getting rarer, and we're able to find one in pretty nice condition. Uh, it should be a complete niner, right, Matt? Oh, yeah. <laughs> All the parts are accounted it's for. Got all the parts plus even more, because like, like I said, I can't store. It's got all the parts plus some. Needs a little work. But I think she's gonna clean up real nice. Look at that baby. So Matt, you wanna tell us about the Niner? You seem to be a Niner expert. It's a lot more than just meets the eye. I know from from a glance you could tell that the Niners have the side skirts, right? Yeah. They got the hood louvers, yes, we got the wanted, grill, but they, there's more. They wanted to send the last year of the ZJ, the first generation Grand Cherokee out with a bang. So they had a Ram motor sitting in the warehouse. This is what I've been told. And uh, they stuffed it in here, and they made the Grand Cherokee 5.9 Limited. So it's a Niner because it has a 360 motor, 5.9 liter. Let's pop the hood. Let's take a look at this bad boy. All right, there she be. Yep. Look at that baby. All right, so this is a 5.9 360 motor. And uh, what's different about this setup than all the other ZJs? I know there was a relay thing, right? Yes, well, you have... An electric fan. The other 318s, a regular uh, 5.2, they didn't come with. They came with a clutch fan connected to the water pump. So here you have your upper and your lower relays that control your electric fan. And then your other relay is here. All right, and there's two more there. on the firewall right where you're left handed. So it's basically ready to suck the heat out of it exactly. <laughs> at a moment's notice. And the fan upgrade, the kit that uh, everybody does, I've done it. You take, all you gotta do is take this fan out replace I call it the heart replace the motor and then just wire the whip in it's the best thing you could do for these things all right well you, you could he could give me a hand when I do mine Absolutely. this thing's got some kind of K&N thing somewhere yeah, or I, I just took it off just to get a better look at the headers because it has Doug Thorley headers on it which are a big deal I'm kind of a big deal a lot of people want them in any condition people love them and they make them breathe because the stock manifolds really choke these things up yeah stock on mine. okay all right so uh yeah breathing is key yes. when it comes to power for the 5.9 you have a one year only 5.9 liter grill yep these are very sought after look at this weird little grill yeah and then uh yeah like you have the hood vents 
that everybody thinks they're not functional. No, they're definitely they functional. They work. And if you look in the side here, they got little tiny cutouts. And like I say, if you know a Niner in the winter, if there's snow on this thing that's running, there's no snow right here. <laughs> you can watch the heat come out in the summer. That's right. You can see the the little uh, the oh, distortion yeah. from the heat coming off. Absolutely. You got the low profile roof rack, which is a one year only for this model only. Uh, all the cladding on the side and the Ultra Star wheels that everybody says they're for a 5.9 only, but they're not. Ultra Star on us, 60th anniversary the XJs, anniversary. Adam. Yeah, baby. Yeah, these are low profile roof. It's for the aerodynamics because, of course, an SUV that does 200 miles an hour, it's got to have aerodynamics. Just kidding. But seriously, it's got them. I'm just kidding. But seriously, I've got them. So let's take a look at the interior. I think the Niners have a one year only special interior. One year only interior. The interior, everything was blacked out, right? The, yeah, the side so pillars and the oh. center co overhead console. Yeah, you got really nice seats in here, I'll tell you that much. I actually the, wanted them, but. The, ca <laughs> the calfskin leather seats. They're very comfortable. And all the trim uh, was a little darker than the other ZJs. Correct. Yep. It had a wood grain shifter the bezel. The gold system, and it came with the sound bar in the rear. Yep, yep, and the sound bar in the rear. Uh, <laughs> obviously, I got some work to do, guys, but uh, you'll, you'll see this this thing is going to come out real nice. It is really healthy, I'll tell you that much. So, Maddie, uh, Maddie borrowed a couple of exhaust pieces, so it's a little loud. But <laughs> when I was under it last time, uh, the passenger side seemed really good. I think we're probably gonna find some rust underneath the driver's side rocker. But look at this, man. If you guys remember, the General Grievous doors were completely rotten. And uh, it's gonna be nice not having as much rust. Well, who knows? I shouldn't say that. We'll wait till we get this cladding off. <laughs> uh, paint and body. I don't think this has ever been hit. No, it looks I mean, clean. Not taken care of because people love the beer. Yeah. But, uh, I think with a wash, <laughs> wax, buff, compound, the whole nine, I think this thing's gonna show. Yeah. Well, me too. Hey, look, it's got general grabbers on it. Hey, that's a <laughs> that's a good omen. <laughs> <laughs> the tires that I ordered is something that I promised you guys from the very beginning. Something with the uh, name General in the title. General Grabber Tires. So we're actually getting Generals on the General. Let me know what you think of the General Grabber ATX Tires. I want to get Generals on the General. Remember when we hooked up the front end of the, the General Grievous to the tree and the come along and we pulled out the damage with the yeah. torch and the yeah. sledgehammer? <laughs> we're not going to have to do that to this one. Hopefully, <laughs> knock on wood, right? No, no. <laughs> So, this is pretty sweet. And look, we got painted to match mirrors. I had to paint my own mirrors on the Grievous. Look at that. 5.9 Limited Grand Cherokee. Hey, Mad Wave, I can see you. Look at that, the paint's gonna be all right after all. Oh, yeah. <laughs> all right, hey, you wanna start it up? All right, fire in the hole. Yeah, baby. <laughs> I had mine straight piped, my last one, my white one, and it sounded nothing like that. When I started up for the first time, I couldn't believe it. That's actually a spare dashboard that's in great condition. This is your NX15 transmission. Maddie, are you giving me a manual transmission? Oh, yeah. Am I going to have to do a manual swap on this thing? Absolutely. Who wants to see a manual Niner? That would be crazy. I think we should do it. You got all the parts for it, even the pedal here. This is nuts. This is going to be stock awesome. 249. Okay. If you ever wanted to go back to it, but people actually really want those. This is a, uh, somebody put a 231 in this. 231 in it, yeah. So we got, uh, got two-wheel drive and then part-time four-wheel drive. Yeah, yeah. So it's a, a beach or racing vehicle right now. This is great. All right. Let's put her on the dolly. Let's do it. All right. You know what, Matt? Before we uh, get in the way, why don't you walk us around this bad boy? Yeah, yeah. So this is my 1998 Jeep Grand Cherokee 5.9 Limited. I found this one in Brooklyn. Well, some backstory is my dad first introduced me to them a long time ago, and I fell in love with them. He had one, unfortunately, he got into a really bad accident, he was told. So then I found one from Tacoma, Washington. It was stone white, it was beautiful, I loved it. And unfortunately, I had to sell it just due to, like, like I say, being an adult. 
kind of need something more of a commuter, so I sold it and I regret it every single day. Mm, we've all been there, buddy. Searching Facebook Marketplace, I found this. And it was in the middle of Brooklyn, broken down. The guy said it needed head gaskets, but like I said, these Jeeps need a specific type of person to work on them and to know what they really are. So I picked it up cheap, 750 bucks, and uh, I tore the cooling system apart, and turns out the radiator was clogged as hell, and it just couldn't breathe, and it kept overheating. So I changed the uh, radiator to an aluminum radiator. Uh, I did the coolant fan swap, and she woke right back up. The Canadian 5.9. I don't care what anybody says that, oh, it's in kilometers, or it's in miles. This Jeep shows so little sign of wear that. Yeah, it's kilometers. Exactly. She's new. I did the terminal ends, that really helped out. Full tune up, which is amazing, the eight millimeter plugs from Summit. Uh, and then I had a leak in the water pump, but these 5.9s, you'll probably learn. <laughs> if you do it, if you take, if you need a water pump, you gotta do the timing cover gasket. Yeah, you totally. Might as well, you're in there, you do the timing chain. So I did timing chain, harmonic balancer, water pump, you name it, I did the whole front. And the thing runs great. This, I still have to attend to. This has to be cut down, because it's supposed to sit way lower. Was this a new one? No, new, that new was house? the one that was on it. So I gotta do a little with that. k and intake I bought, because I don't like the stock intakes. I don't think they can breathe for shit. And... It's, She's been great every single day. This is the best upgrade that you can do to a 5.9 Limited G. Oh. The aluminum radiator off of eBay, Whirly Racing or Cooling. I've bought two of them and they're amazing. Really? They're unbelievable. I'm having an issue with the water, but it's not from uh, the heater core or anything like that. I think it was just sitting water for a really long time. A lot of times the seals between the heater core box and the firewall start to deteriorate yeah. and it gets up behind there. The sunroof works. Doesn't seal, that's why it's closed up right now. <laughs> I've been there before. But I changed it to <laughs> Apple CarPlay. That was awesome. Nice. I don't drive it all the time, I drive it on the weekends, but it has no rust on it. There's not, there was a little tiny rust on the door, on the driver's side, but other than that, it's completely clean, undercoated underneath. That's what it's all about in New York. Finding a rust-free vehicle. That's, yeah. that's great, man. You got a beauty right here. Thank you, thank you, I appreciate it. Nice tires. Is there a specific suspension that the Niners no, came with? No, they didn't have Overland suspension, nothing. So if you say you got an upcountry suspension, it's, it's like not going to be on a Niner. It's on the Orbis, I believe. The Orbis, yeah. So it's just a stock, regular suspension, sitting on yeah, she's just about stock tires. gauges look at that how about that and I think I told you the last time we met I thanked you for the video that you made for <laughs> oh, plate yes and the hinges <laughs> that's my setup that's awesome yeah that was the best thing ever you did a nice job you didn't put ugly gold paint on yours like I did <laughs> I have the correct paint for this, but like I said, winter, I work outside in, on this, so right now it's just bare in the winter. And I know, you and me both, man. We're driveway renters. Yeah. That's great, man. It looks so good. Yeah, this Jeep's perfect. Like I said, one family owned, they passed it down from kid to kid until it finally got to New York from Ontario, then it went to Washington, then it got shipped out here. It's amazing. It survived Canada and didn't get rusty. Yeah. It's got 85... Uh, service records on car five. Wow. They did everything on this thing. Probably about $7,000 worth of maintenance in the last five years. What a beauty. It had oh, a block chills. heater too, but somebody cut it. <laughs> oh, well. Yeah. Wow. Look at that. That's what it's all about. Gorgeous, Matt. Thank well. you. Thank you. Thank you for letting me show it on YouTube. Absolutely, brother. Where can we reach you? You have an Instagram for this yes, bad boy? Yes, it is uh, NYC underscore Z88Z. Oh, well, there that you have nice. it, guys. You could follow Matty on Instagram. Yeah, please do. And check out his Niner. Encourage him. Yeah, if you need any help with Niners, I'm pretty knowledgeable, so. Yeah. You got any Niner forums? Niner well, community? on Facebook, we have the, the Jeep Grand Cherokee 5.9 Limited Group, which is a great group. And then we have the Jeep 5.9 Classifieds, where we sell and buy only 5.9 Jeep. 
exclusive yeah. Niner stuff. It's a great website, and there's a lot of knowledgeable people on there that know everything about things. All right. Well, I'll be sure to join. Absolutely. <laughs> All right. Let's do it. Let's get that bad boy home. Yeah, man. We got a long trip to go, and the Varazana is all jammed up. <laughs> <laughs> that a niner pulling a niner not every day you see that doing great maddie all right that's perfect something we want to tow this bad boy home in neutral but since this is a 231 transfer case on a vehicle designed for a 249 we, we tried to put it neutral and it's coming up full time and it got a little confused at first but then we realized that the position of the 231 the third position is neutral it goes two-wheel drive then four high neutral and four low so we think we're in the right spot uh if it's not we'll know shortly when the gears start whining and the thing blows up but uh we think we got it now I'm just gonna leave everything in neutral we got the transmission in neutral we got the transfer case in neutral and that's it we're gonna roll up these windows right they roll up right <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna roll everything up and then uh tie this thing down cool all right Going for a ride in Maddie's Niner. Hopefully, mine will be as good as this one day. Yeah, this is a pure stock. Pure stock. Pure stock Niner. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, man. That's, uh, that's, that's better than the Hemi. That's better than my 5.7. We're plus point two. <laughs> Corny. Corny joke. Oh boy. <laughs> I might have to edit that out. Right, here we go. Let's take two. Right now, the only issue I'm having with this thing, it's not really an issue, but uh, the, I have a fail safe thermostat in it. And it did what it had to do, but it failed, and now it's stuck open. Locked open. So this thing just runs like, I don't know, 50, 60 degrees colder than what it's supposed to. It's just not getting up to operating temperature. Exactly. But it's not going to overheat. No, this will never overheat, especially with all the work I've done to it. Oh, yeah. Oh, Joe's yelling yeah, at us. Joe's yelling. All right, Maddie, thank you for the trip. Absolutely. That was a great little ride. Hopefully that one will be as fast as that one in the not too near future. And uh, we're gonna go say hi to Joe. We're gonna have to move our vehicle out of here. All right, Maddie. thank you so much, yeah, man. Yeah, man, it's been fun. Yeah, So definitely. I'm excited, if you need anything, let me know. Will do, thank you for the ZJ. And where are we gonna follow you again? At Instagram on NYC underscore Z88Z. All right, you heard it, guys. Thanks a lot, Maddie. Yeah, Appreciate man. it one more thank time. Thank you. I'll see you soon. See you guys later. All right, all right, let's get this thing home. Here we go. Take care, man. Nice meeting you. Thank you. Yeah. Nice meeting you. Later. All right, guys. We're all loaded up. We got a Niner in tow. See, I told you it wouldn't be long till I got a Niner. <laughs> I can't make that stuff up. But uh, thank you to Matt. Thank you to God for uh, making this all work out. Thank you to Daddy for making this trip. <laughs> thank you, Daddy. Thank you, Daddy. And uh, we will uh, we'll see you when we get this Niner um, on the road. All right, guys.
we'll be sure to include you every step of the way, of course. All right, remember to like and subscribe, and peace.